All right, so Microsoft released a new, it's not new, but a new interface to an existing generative AI capability called Copilot. So it's under the URL called copilot.microsoft.com. Pretty much what's available in Bing chat and Bing, you know, the general search engine where you can ask questions. It gives you generative AI responses, but looks like they've reworked on it. Well, Bing stays as is with uh, all its capabilities. This is more of a new productivity tool. I mean, it's more appealing to me rather than going to Bing chat, a dedicated generative AI uh, assistance. So pretty much what ChatGPT offers, uh, you can type questions, you can ask questions through voice, and you can also upload uh, an image from your device and ask uh, the co-pilot to explain. I've tried uh, some of the prompts in, in my detailed video, so make sure to check it out. But in this video, I'm going to give you my initial thoughts on it. I found it really helpful, like any other generative AI tool. But one thing that I, I, f I find la lagging in Copilot is the mobile uh, mobile app. ChatGPT has mobile app. I don't think Copilot, uh, as we speak, do not have a mobile app. So for someone who is trying to access it from their mobile device, Copilot would be only through their browser. Uh, when I was testing, I found out if I have to go back to previous charts, the history from the previous charts is loading slowly. And also, when I the moment when I hit enter, it takes quite a bit of time in terms of responding to my question, unlike ChatGPT, where responses are almost all instantaneously. Other than that, it has 2000 character limit for your prompt and responses can be generative. So you can go back to the context, ask questions, pretty much what uh, ChatGPT does, Copilot, which is owned by Microsoft, obviously, you know, behind the scenes using the models from OpenAI. So both of, both of them are one and the same. So yeah, that's, those are my initial thoughts for the detailed prompts and some of my explorations. Make sure to check out this video. And as always, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And you know, if you have any questions, drop it in the comment.